Hello, hello, hello. Welcome over here to Lunkers TV. Well, I thought it started off the day out here on the on the on the land. That actually busted. So that won't be used for a little bit, I guess. Bucky at a uh, Morgan Dirt Works. He's he's the guy that owns this place. His name is Bucky Morgan. But uh, this thing, I guess, is I don't know if it was this. I think he said the graders. I think those those actually broke. Uh, so they've been they haven't been working since last Thursday. And then, well, they brought the grader out here, the actually road grader, which I'm pretty excited about because at the very end, they're going to grade the road in here. See that? Caught that. But the island, I guess it rained up here just a tad, and it's windy. Update, always windy. It's, it's a constant. <laughs> constant. Well, I thought I'd come down here and show you guys. The island now has just a little bit of water around it. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have, have said in the comments, where is the water going to come from? Well, as you can tell, when rain comes, guess what? It comes down the creek and it's just pooling right now. Even right now, I'm sorry, it is so windy again. That's all it is here. In da uh, Texas and Oklahoma, all it does is blow wind. I don't, I don't know what the deal is. It just constantly just sustained 20 miles an hour. Yes, it does drive me nuts if some of you guys cannot tell. But uh, yeah, so we, there's a creek that runs in here and then there's a couple seeps. Now, I know for a fact there was a seep somewhere in this gen oh right back over there right back over there there's like a seep uh how, how do i want to explain seep um it's a seep is what it is where the water is just seeping out of the ground uh spring of some there we go that's a better way to put it so that that's where the water is going to come i know some people were asking are you just going to like bring water in here no mother nature is going to do its thing it's going to rain and the creek's going to fill this son of a gun up once it's pretty much blocked here and then there's going to be an overflow that's kind of how it works as you can tell it's actually well, you can't tell, but way back over there, that's gonna be a little pocket, nice little juicy little nugget back there. Pretty excited about that, but thought I'd come down here and show you guys, the island is now an island. It's now an island. Well, I came back in here with old Toby and Gabe back, cause I haven't walked this portion of my property ever. Just haven't walked it, just decided, you know, let's go ahead and do this. And apparently I had a lot more water back here than what I was anticipating. Is this being blocked by, that's not, that's not a beaver dam, that's just natural. Just this runoff that's been coming. Yeah, there's trash getting piled up. On a good note, look at how clean this water is through here. I don't like this nasty stuff. That's, that's gotta stay in the creek. That's good. Hey, 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 we're gonna kill some deer back in here. Oh, you mean for all that right there? I'm just saying, man, it must really, really, really run through here for it to look like that. Yeah, that, I mean, it just looks really wet. <laughs> It's ripping. At right, one point it was ripping. I didn't even know that was back in there. I'm kind of glad you guys came. I, I, I was trying to figure out what this was for the entire time. I always knew there was a trough and where they would come and they'd... I didn't realize it was an actual dairy thing. Milk maker. Cool. Okay. So yeah, I keep it somewhere. Yeah. If you guys are new to this channel, I pretty much start videos off and then I end up doing something else and I get kind of sidetracked. Like right now, uh, I brought Gabe and Toby over here. They're, we're looking at the building. So you guys know this is Gene Archer's old place. I've said that a billion times. I don't know why I got to tell you. Maybe, maybe some of you guys are new. I guess over the last 30 days, we have added 60,000 of new people to this channel, which is kind of crazy. So I guess some of you guys may have not seen this. But uh, we were back over there, and what you just saw a second ago was actually it's old dairy. I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't really realize exactly what it was because I thought it was just horses out here. But that's fairly interesting. And uh, right now, I've got something actually stuck in the track of my my old deer. Little, where's that? Yeah, look at this. Oh, that's not, that's not it. That's it right there. That ain't good. I think that's gonna mess up my track a little bit or no? Probably not gonna do much. Yeah, it looks like it runs across these wheels. No, I'm saying if we get it out of there, it probably no, isn't gonna no, be. No, it yeah. won't hurt a thing. All right, so I only brought one of these up today. I picked this up in the warehouse. I know you guys have seen these before. Gonna throw this thing down real quick. I'm gonna do just a real quick uh, little session here before we get into this bag. I know this video is about this bag. I bought this bag, by the way, from an Instagram ad. Yeah, they got me. So this bag right here, they say it's it's they say it's bulletproof. I have absolutely no idea. We're gonna test it out today. I am not endorsing this bag. I'm not telling you to buy this bag. Hell, I don't even want to show you the name of this bag because I don't want to be the person to spur up some, uh, I, I just don't want to, it just, it's kind of strange. I'm just going to say that. Uh, the fact that people would buy, it's just weird that you need a bulletproof bag. It's just kind of strange. But anyway, I wanted to test it out. I saw it and I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy this. Little on the expensive side. Well, this one was a smaller version. I think there are the big ones are like 350 bucks. I think this is like 170 or something, never matter. Um, what was I going to tell you guys? What was I going to tell you? Oh, so my idea out here is I really have a lot, a lot of, a lot of plans in my mind as you guys know 
the lake's gonna get done at some point. And uh, I wanna build a shooting range out here as well. I wanna go out to a thousand yards. I wanna have berms all the way out to a thousand. Uh, I wanna have a moving target range. I wanna do that kind of stuff all in this area. And then back over there, those, those buildings you guys saw a second ago, I really wanna turn that into like a, my idea is maybe venues, like a wedding venue type deal or something. And then also build a barn and out here. Like I have so many plans that are gonna happen, hopefully, because all this takes money and time and everything like that. It's, it's gonna be a long process. Number one thing was, Get the lake going. As you guys know, that's gonna take the longest. Not the longest, but the, yeah, probably the longest. But first, my friend. I uh, brought, my, brought my six and a half back out here. I'm just gonna do a hundred. I'm just gonna do some, just, just for myself. Just, just for myself. <laughs> that's all it is. Well, there we go. All right. I think that's fuel actually laying next to me now that I think about it. Actually, I'm about 100% sure that's fuel. Whatever. But I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, this is, the, we're gonna do 100 real quick. This is uh, confirm for me. Normally I wouldn't never show this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and confirm. Just out the gate, I don't know. I might be able to set myself one up to it. I have no idea. It's gonna be pretty quick though. Sand socks, okay. This one's a little better. Yeah, it was a lot better. I don't really like that hard one. Oh yeah, this is gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right. Yeah, yeah. Do I? Let's see. Let's see if I can even. Let's see. This this thing. This 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 rifle's just damn tasty. Damn tasty. Let's see if I can do this for you guys. Oh, well, here we go. Now we're looking. Look at this. It looks like the moon. No, it kind of looks like Mars. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's the there's the first little dandy of a nugget right there. That thing is a tasty. Yeah, look at there. This is the dirt. I'm pointing over there. I'm going to try to go over there and possibly maybe send around from over there. I don't know. I'm holding my hand up here. Little finger, finger nuggets. And uh, yeah, I'm taking a round out, make sure the chamber is clear. It's clear. Hey, all right. So now we're going to look down these little vortex binoculars you got here. Oh, okay. It's hard to, it's hard to do it with one hand. I'm going to realize here in a second. Yeah. Okay. I realized it was tough. I think we're about 225 yards. No, no, no. We were just under 300 yards here. We're at 275 yards, 280 yards. Yeah. I'm feeling this sand sock. I like the softer ones. Um, laying down here right next that 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 wet looking stuff you see on the right hand side of the screen is actually fuel so yes i'm laying in actual fuel right now uh, pretty good amount of fuel uh yeah so that squishy little sand sock i'm sitting there i'm talking to myself and you just squeeze it oh hey there's a nice little trigger squeeze see that yeah hey guys i just dinged the target and uh i just want to let you know it was really exciting um all right so now we're getting into this portion uh here we got a shotgun uh we these are the the stuff we're going to use on this this backpack this is a little 22 short this is my everyday carry yeah that's that one that's exactly what that is that's a 357 uh that's a deagle and that's a 556 five, you already know that's an m pretty much just an m4 and then we got a 12 gauge um just just so everybody's aware uh the deagle is shiny yeah oh i did i grabbed it again i'm kind of like a squirrel i see it look how shiny that son of a gun is i just got to touch it i just like touching it Oh, here, back over to this one. Uh, I don't know why I'm touching these again. I just explained this. I don't know, what, what am I doing? Uh, so this is the backpack. Uh, it's kind of a strange looking little backpack. I realize it zips all the way around and it undoes itself and it turns into this weird little backpack thing. Um, so I wish I could play some soft elevator music for you guys right now, but this is just strange. So I put it on backwards. Anybody ever put a backpack on backwards while you're inside the backpack? Me either, that was the first time. So they have this like little flexible hard stuff. Yeah, and I'm trying to take it off and it's around me. Yeah, I don't have any hair still. I kind of look like a potato. And then, yeah, here's me on a knee. I'm not promoting this backpack. I don't know exactly what brand this backpack was, but audio cuts back in. Okay. Good. All right, first up is gonna be the little 22 short. It's the goofiest little pistol I probably own. Well, one of them. And that is why it's the goofiest one ever. I mean, it didn't even fire and it took 
three rounds and now it's shoved in there all right let's try that again let's send a let's send a few 22 shorts into it at least i don't think i'm hitting this something little turd nugget of a little pistola it's kind of hard to see i sent a few rounds at it and i don't i can only find one impact which is right here because i saw it oh there's no one right there actually okay yeah there we go so nothing nothing i can feel that one did that one really rip through there's no way hold on a second what the hell the one underneath okay i'll give it that the one underneath it's about to say we may have some issues right out the gate all right so next up let's go with <sighs> hmm all right so next up we're just gonna go with my this is my everyday carry right here it's a little it's a nine mil to glock 23 i turned into a nine so just we'll see hey rounds i'm using so everybody's aware like home self-defense ones. I don't think they're supposed, they're not supposed to go through walls pretty much. From what they say. Let's go take a look. Looks like it left maybe a big old bulge. Like it probably wouldn't feel too good on the receiving end of it. It's a little bit of a little mark right there. Let's see. Let's go ahead and just kind of take this off before we can see the actual side. All right. There's a bulge though. All right. There is a bulge. It did stop the nine, completely stopped the nine. So with that being said, now that we know that, that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it around. Go ahead and flip it. All right, so here we go. We got a Ruger GP100 357 mag. That's pretty much all I got for y'all. Nothing. All right, all right, she's good to go. I'm gonna give it one round on the back side. Oh, you know what? Hold up, before we do that, before we do that, I should have done this one first. White one. So to be honest with you guys, I don't think I, I have one. I have one in there now, but I don't think it's really going to have too much of an issue. This is a Mossberg 930. Ah, this is well, okay. Give it two. Let's go take a little bit of a gandiness. All right, let's see what we got going on. So lots of pellets in there. Real question: Anything go through? Nope. I didn't think it would. After it held up to the nine, pretty good. All right, it's pretty good. All right. Almost forgot the old shoddy boom body. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna now bounce over to the 357. I really want to do this because I know there was probably a lot of y'all who have seen this ad before on Instagram who have wondered, is that really is that really gonna work? All right, 357, little snub nose Magnum cow. It's just it's yeah. This is more of, I guess, just like a PSA, I guess, more than anything. So here we go, right through there, there, and oh my lands. Three, hold on a sec, no way. Let's take this over to the truck real quick. All right, so look at this bag. This is the back of the bag. This is where it looks like when it sits in dirt. I'm now punching it and uh, hitting it. That's what the 357 did right there. I was actually really impressed. It stopped it completely, like 100% stopped it. I think I may actually pull out the little thing on the inside here. Yeah, 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 I do pull it out. But I put you guys down. Let me pull this thing out. This is like, this is what's inside this thing. It had like these weird gel, gel silicone things, but there's the, there's a little lead you guys can see down in the bottom left-hand corner. I don't remember if I pick it up or not, but uh, yeah. It's really weird on the inside as yeah, I do pick it up. But there you go. That's that's all the little sh that's the shotgun stuff on the inside. Did pretty well. It stopped at 357 Magnum. Completely stopped it right in its tracks. Now we're gonna go over. Oh, hey, by the way, I couldn't pick up the deagle because hey, guess what? I forgot the deagle rounds at the house. So that didn't really help the cause. Couldn't do that. Now we're kind of thinking about, hey, let's go ahead and whip out the old uh, 556. I'm talking to the camera like now. I don't even remember what I said during this portion, but I do try something else here. So wait a sec. Uh, here's me, I guess saluting you guys for some odd reason i guess nothing happened uh, i tried to 556 and it went straight through and now i'm sitting here in my kitchen talking to you guys that's actually what happened that's literally what happened the 556 went exactly through it yeah i ripped right through it as you guys could probably probably tell yeah i'm sorry the audio went out it was pretty uh 
It would have been a lot better video if, if, if the audio actually continued to work, but I wasn't not gonna post after sending so many rounds to the backpack. It, it held up to every single thing except for the 5.56 ripped right through it. But the 5.56 also is a very, very fast, smaller, it's, it's made to go through stuff like that. It's actually made, listen to this. Well, I don't know if it's made to do this, but I will tell you what it does. The 5.56 will actually bounce around inside of a human's body. Weird, weird facts. It'll, it will bounce around in there. Apparently the pizza's done. But hey, there you guys go. I'm back over here. This is pretty much what I, I just had to knock that out for you guys. But other than that, I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me over here on Lancas TV. I'll see you on another quarantined type episode. My apologies once again on the, the audio. I love you guys. I'm out.